what got into upcycling as sort of a um, something to do for my own head and my own space and to exercise a bit of creativity. Um, yeah, it was kind of, I guess, therapeutic almost when I started. So during COVID, when I couldn't go anywhere or do anything, yeah. I began to potter away a few pieces. Generally, creatively, my mom was probably a big inspiration. Um, she's an artist and she has a wonderful creative side. I feel like there was, there's nothing that she can't fix or do. And like in terms of my home growing up, like she would have done all the, the DIY and stuff at home. Um, so I never felt like it was something that I couldn't or shouldn't or should be asking somebody else to do. Um, that's a really tough question because I think each piece brings kind of something different or can tend to have a very different feel. Probably one of my favourite pieces would be, it was a navy and gold coffee table. And I'd say it was one of my favourite pieces because it was in such bad condition at the beginning with the bit of, you know, love and attention, um, it came back to life and uh, yeah, I was just really proud of how it turned out. I suppose it's given me a bit more optimism in terms of trying to reach the right market. It can be quite difficult to sell pieces and I can't keep everything I do. So I need to be able to move it on, sell it. And it's in Ireland, I think in particular, it's quite hard to reach the right audience um, and I think Refunk is a platform that is, is set up and targeting the people I want to target. I change my mind all the time on everything um, but yeah I love navy and gold, I love black and gold, I love greens, all kinds of greens. I like solid colours. Uh, I like simple, yeah, simple straight lines and solid colours.